girl they look like a Big body bends, me fear drive it hard You make me cocky print, you fear ride it hard Me one broke your body doing this for the third or fourth time i think now so i'm back doing the voiceover for this video again because youtube wants to copyright and block all my videos so i've just had to mute it and change the song so sorry if it's like a bit glitchy or whatever so today i'm doing this v-tip set as you can tell and i'm using glitter bell system as i usually am and i'm not using a cutter for this set like i just use my brush because i feel like with acrylic like bead consistency is something that i'm still working on but i feel like if i just did the whole nail and then i went in with the cut i would just be nervous that it would just be stuck and then it's not going to be able to like pull through the acrylic even though i know it's silly because it takes a second to dry like i'd be worried so that's what i'm doing today i mean really it's same me it's old me you know same shit i've been on the low key grinding so yeah i was pretty hyped because these nails lasted me like over 15 days i've just changed them today and i did record doing the process but i don't even like the nails like i think because i used pink about instead of peach about on this new set that i did i just wasn't feeling it but i'm gonna be posting a video and you lot can let me know what you think but thanks so much for 30 subscribers like obviously we're just growing and I just feel loved and everything. I just wanted to document my nail journey, so I hope you're enjoying. Oh, and if you can't tell, the inspiration for these nails I got from this girl, like the screenshot that's in the corner. But I just wanted to make her set into V-tips because obviously I just did the small line ones before this. everybody finding this second lockdown because i know that i am tired and bored and missing jamaica desperately and i'll be complaining about it in every like video that i do but it's literally like how much worse can it get like obviously i'm glad that i'm safe and that my family's safe and that's always a priority but i literally feel like a rat trapped in its cage like it's crazy it makes me think think and feel even worse for other people that are wrongfully in prison like they must be really going insane and for something that you haven't done like that's mad i don't know i can trust i've been dropping out and i've been hanging out with my high fans and we too stoned to pay attention i mean really it's same me it's old me you know same shit i've been on the like even when i dried my brush and tried to drain some of the liquid out before the bead was still really wet so you just have to watch if you're like more of a dry person just to let you know before that i was just talking about how glitter bells is quite a wet acrylic system so it's good for beginners because it's very like buttery and runny but also it can be bad in that way Girl, tonight I won't be selfish It is all for you Girl, my bad, I just can't help it Girl, you take so good Love it, feel so numb Ride me till I'm about to come I see you are about to cry Oh girl, don't be shy Hey shot, that's what I'm here for, I'm ready On your downtown, when I'm around town, I'm ready Girl, just let me know what's good Girl, just let me know what's good
This one was being hella difficult for no reason. Like I added on a bead that was a bit too big, so it wanted to just be well dramatic, but we managed to make it work. Like if you ever think there's too much acrylic, then just swipe it off, but do it before it gets too dry or then you finish. Drinking in love songs, she got me up all night. Down and out with these love songs, she got me up all night. Drowning out with these love songs, she got me up all night. Yeah, all I'm singing is love songs, she got me up all night. Yeah, constant drinking in love songs, she got me up all night. Sleeping in my mama crib, but even back when I was up there in my homie crib, paying seventeen hundred for the rent, money well spent. By the way, yes, I am using toilet paper instead of kitchen roll for my wipe off sheet because I ran out of kitchen roll, but I always have toilet paper, so you know, you've got to make do with what you've got. Anonymous slab of sick, you know, cow is shit. Now, a nigga signed a hoe, took a power trip back home. I'm grown now, and the city's my throne now, huh? The same clubs that I used to get tossed out. Like, got crisscross, totally crossed out. Cause now I'm in this bitch, and I'm totally bossed out. Old six crying, cause they know that they lost out. But I'm still on you, I'm still on you. My drinks fell on me while I fell on you. I'm saying, yeah. Would you believe me if I said I'm in love? So at this point, obviously off camera, I went away and filed the V tips so that they were like extra sharp. I didn't film this because when you file it on your own hand, like you literally just go in, do the most with your angles. Like it's bad enough doing your nails. So now to fill it in, we're going for like a chocolatey coloured theme. So this brown that I'm using is from Nio Nails, but I'm not going to put the name of it in the description box, like unless you really want me to, because I just wouldn't recommend it. Like. As you can see, like it's sticking to my brush quite a lot and it's just awkward to use. I wouldn't really recommend their colours 
especially for beginners like I use the Nile Nail Starter Kit to begin with but like their car colours are okay but their pigmenting colours are just not a bit of me. So this method that we're doing is called colour blocking and it's just very important that you make sure that the colour that you colour blocking with, that's like a tongue twister, you have to make sure it meets and lines up with your nude. So you see how I'm checking on the side there that the brown was like even with the nude and it wasn't because you can still see the triangle poking through. You have to make sure it's even because we're going to file away all of that colour, all of that mess so it comes out clean and nice and everything. And if it's not lined up then it just becomes a hot mess, you have to do everything again you have to do more color blocking more encapsulating it's just it's not what you need so just make sure that you make the colors even okay so imagine it's like how you have to build up the apex you also have to make sure your colors are in line with your other nude like your base color that's just all you need to know for color blocking really and just make sure you have a car sanding band or like a ceramic bit like the type you use to remove acrylic but not like extra extra cost but as well like obviously i'm still a beginner at this stuff like i've been in the game for a bit over a year but i'm still learning myself so i'm just trying to pass on the little knowledge that i do know. uh -huh. got me open all night hey. So this one looks a bit mad because it looks like I'm literally putting the same colour on top of the same colour but they're just very similar. You can't actually see the difference in person and this nail actually ended up being my favourite nail. So just wait to see the reveal because you're going to like it. Another thing that I forgot to mention that you just need to pay attention to as well when colour blocking. Do you see how I'm bringing the white and I'm making it go all the way to the top of my nail, like all the way into the corners? You have to make sure you get the corners. That is key because when you start filing, if them corners start pinging away and then you've just got gaps where you can see all the way to the nail bed where like it's meant to be filled in with white, you're just going to look stupid. And then even if you try and encapsulate it with clear, it's still just going to look the same. So make sure you're going into the corners and making it even with the nude. Like that's all you need to do, I think. I'll come back if I remember anything else. <laughs> Key things with marble, of course, always make sure that your beads are extra wet so then they can like meld in together. And then I'm just going in between the brown and the caramel, brown and the white, caramel and white, everything. Just try to make it so it's different mixes so it doesn't just look like the same colours. It was kind of hard with this one because building up like making it even with the nude with marble is extremely difficult. but. It seemed to just work in my favour. I don't know if I encapsulated it before I started filing or what, but just watch my methods because this nail actually came out and it was one of the neatest ones, which was a surprise to me. And another thing with marble, just make sure that your brush is like really pointy because then you can use that to your advantage to swirl the colours around. And then I kind of skipped the thumb application because my thumb was just all over. It was too hard to film. Hey, 
So, I was using an electric sanding band at first, but it really wasn't cutting it. I was using a coarse bit. The ones that I use are cheap, that's why you can see that white thing flying around with it. And then I went to use a hand file, but that's really not my portion. Like, I don't have the energy in my wrist to be doing all that after doing all this acrylic. And then I went onto the Melody Susie drill bit, and you can see the difference that it makes. Like, look how much easier it made the process. See, I've been watching you for a while, smiling and stuff, but I know I can be with you for the night. I stay at all high, baby, baby. There is only one for me. Are you seeing how easily it's coming off that marble nail? Like, this is why it's my favorite. I barely had to put in any effort, and it was just like, bye. But yeah, I think this bit could be even better if I used it faster, but I only use it at about, it looks like it's at about 5,000, between five and 10,000, because it's good, but I feel like it's sharp, so it could really hurt you, so I'm not trying to cut up myself. Now, all of that filing be doing a lot to your nails and it does file away a lot of the acrylic and I'm not one of those people that can just leave it. So I'll go in with a clear acrylic to build up the apex. That's why you see them looking all neat and smooth now. And then we just buff them over with some rubbing alcohol on my buffing machine. Not a buffing machine, that's just me. And that's them. They probably would have been quite nice and matte. I don't know why I didn't think of that. But then I'm just going in with the top coat and that's how we do it, baby. I hope you've really enjoyed this because these are like my favourite nails yet. I don't know if they're my favourite actually because I did really love them blue ones. But yeah, if you didn't see that video, make sure you go watch it. And thank you so much for watching. Lots of love. Bye. So, so, so.